over there by the sheriff's station also by the west hollywood park they pull over there because the wounds to the man who was hit inside the escalate too severe he's bleeding they pull over 911 is called paramedics rush in they take the injured man who's hit by gunfire to the er he does not make it does not survive so that area now in west hollywood also very busy as you can imagine on a friday night late summer that is all tied up as a part of this investigation a deadly shooting investigation then you have the second location here at the gas station where bullets fly investigators say they man that's his arm now the manhunt on for these three gunmen who as one witness said turned into hitmen almost execution style said turned into hitmen almost execution style i know what y'all thinking is that quando rondo yes that is quando rondo so as you guys can see he is alive and he is very very well he gave our updates to his family to his aunt in which his aunt put that back out into the world immediately after the situation initially occurred and let us all know that Quando was fine. This was also put out before 5.30 p.m. The Los Angeles Police Department, who also helped with the investigations, revealed the man ended up near the intersection of Beverly Boulevard and L.A. Uh, Seninga Boulevard. A little before 5.30 p.m., calling for help from law enforcement officers. The man who LAPD says is associated with a rapper from Atlanta was pronounced dead at the hospital. It is unknown which musician the shooting victim was. Well, of course we know who that was. That was Quando Rondo. But I wanted to give this update because the initial reports that came out was that Quando Rondo was shot in his own city savannah georgia and that turned out to be cat so y'all know i want to give y'all the most factual information on the internet and as y'all can see this was in los angeles i.e the reason why lapd would be involved and it makes more sense because i couldn't like get my mind around why quando rondo would be out moving around in the city that vulnerable to give an opposition an opportunity to take him out. Well, hold up. Let's do the intro. I forgot to do that. What's going on today, La Familia? It's your brother, King K.O. back in this thing with another one. You already know what time it is. Told y'all I would give y'all any updates that came out on this situation. So that's what we back in here doing. Giving that update and whatnot. Clarifying a few things that came out. Now, like I said, man, it gives more meaning as to the reason why Quando Rondo would be out moving around. Of course, he has love in Los Angeles. You have the Big U connection, Rolling 60 Crip. As far as what we see in front of the television, that's one huge connection and one past that he would have in Los Angeles. The connections to the Crips outside of what we see uh, and whoever else he has connected with. He spends a lot of time in Los Angeles. I know that video popped up a few years back about the Hoovers and them telling Quando Rondo that he couldn't come back for dissing Hoover. And hey, I'm not saying they had anything to do with this situation. All I am pointing out is the fact that Quando Rondo has a lot of ties to Los Angeles, California. He spends a lot of time down there. He's very comfortable moving around that city and feeling like a celebrity which most of these celebrities are. You know, Los Angeles is more so a place of comfort, a place tailor-made for these celebrities. It's a place where they can network, they can move freely, they don't have to be on their pivot all the time. They can relax, they can network, they can meet other celebrities and, you know, make more revenue for themselves, generate more revenue, especially for a celebrity that has ties to a huge gang out in LA like Quando Rondo like we stated before you know that connection to the Crips gives him a lot of freedom you know he already checked in with his peoples man and you got a lot of people trying to connect dirt to this situation but I just don't see it I just don't see it y'all gotta understand that they have other issues outside of what's on the internet going on y'all gotta understand that he has other ops those ain't those ain't the only ones but y'all did hear that it was three men connected in this situation there were three men. They said it was a military type of thing. And honestly, just hearing the news report and also reading the report, the only way that the people could get this information, because clearly it was it had to be nobody around. 
It had to be a situation where no one else was around and they caught them lacking. So the other person is deceased. You've seen Quando Rondo up walking, talking, talking to the police. So obviously that information came from Quando Rondo. Quando Rondo let the police know that he's seen three men who walked down on him and his partner and took their lives out of nowhere. It was just a situation that went left. Y'all heard it. Military type of thing. Uh, real strategic, highly organized, very planned. And they knew what they came to do, initiated that and got up out of there. Now, I'm sure in the next 24 hours or so, we will be getting another update about who at least one of these men are. We'll be getting an update about something because when it's a situation like this, dudes like to brag. You know, dudes like to brag like, yeah, I hit up that rapper that, you know, y'all know how that goes, man. Somebody going to end up snitching on themselves. And in the next 24 hours, we will be notified if that actually does occur now I'm, I'm more than positive man in the next 24 to 48 hours somebody will be detained somebody will be down there for questioning there will be an arrest made you know hey this is too high profile of a situation somebody is going to want their credit for this but to carry on Quando rondo was not hit on the initial first call when he made that first call to 911 to take care of his friend Little Pap, he was not hit yet. They doubled back. They were bold enough to double back and hit him up again at a gas station. Even after, you know, obviously they was following him or something. Somebody was paying attention to him. Something was going on to where they had to drop on this man. And they knew where he was at two times. Not once, but twice. Now, I don't know. It, it hasn't been released if anybody else was in the car. You know, if, if, if nobody else was in the car, something is something crazy going on. Like they was obviously following him. They knew their way around. They knew how to cut him off. They knew how to sit blindly. Like that doesn't sound like no out of towners to me. That sounds like somebody from inside of that town. You get what I'm saying? Like you got to be from the area to know the back alleys, how to duck the laws, you know, switch cars, do all this type of stuff. That's that's how you would have to move in a situation like that. Whoever did this to Quando and his partner is definitely from that terrain. They know that area. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. That's that's why I explained that to y'all. And you know, that's just what it is, man. And uh, you know, in the second area, it seems like maybe the gas station gave a witness because they did say there was a witness. They laid down the situation, but you know, they had to be very bold to come and double back twice in broad daylight you know in somewhat daylight you know that that's pretty bold man but on a cool y'all let me know how y'all feel about that part down in the comment section just a little update i went ahead and ran it all back to y'all that way y'all can fully understand what the news report said but that wasn't it man like i said a few of his opposition responded to the situation man as well as fans and i'm not gonna show the fans i'm just gonna say this once again, for the fans, man, y'all do not have nothing to do with this situation, man. Stop getting down in the comment section of these videos talking about, yeah, y'all can stop hollering that little dirt didn't slide. Y'all can stop saying this, stop saying that. Oh, and uh, Wom, uh, he decided to speak on this as well, man, and uh, he gave his little his his thoughts on it. But on the cool, man, y'all don't got nothing to do with this. So stop talking about who slid on who. And what happened to who? That's not your business, bro. Stay in your lane. Mind your business. Because you mind your own, you live long. That's the rules of the way. OTF Dave put the crying faces and then said his A posted check to somebody go pull the plug in that B word or something. With like the frowning to the side emoji, you know, getting highly disrespectful. Basically saying like Quando should have been gone too. Then that man, uh, who's five, baby. Uh, shares the post and put like the champagne popping bottles above it man getting highly disrespectful with that one you know what i'm saying and then like i said man that man wom spin a bins he commented under dj academics video and says you know a video of quando and says outer body experience for all the ops basically uh reiterating on what Quando already said about the King Von situation when King Von hit him. So he just used that, remixed it, and sent the jab at Quando. Some disrespectful stuff, man. 
but I already gave y'all my viewpoints on all that. So, hey, man, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon. You know, tap in with the family because we're the most consistent. And with that being said, all praise be to the most high. Peace and blessings, kings and queens. I'm out. Believe it up, it up, it up, it up.